700 federal agents, 120 reputed rival gang members. Bronx, New York, is believed to be the largest gang takedown in New York City history. case of a criminal matter that carries very serious consequences uh, if you're convicted, uh, I want to reiterate to you, even though you've filled out this form, that representing yourself is potentially extremely disadvantageous. Uh, in, in society, in our daily lives, uh, people have various rights. We all have rights related to something, right? But exercising those rights is not always a good idea under the particular circumstances. So uh, if, if, a, uh, if a person, uh, if, if I have a friend or a neighbor and I lend them some money and then they don't pay me back type scenario, uh, you have a right to take them to court and sue them. But if the person is your neighbor, maybe you won't do that for other reasons. When it comes to the criminal law, when somebody is charged with a crime, again, you do have a right to represent yourself, assuming you have a certain basic level of competence and understand clearly the disadvantages for doing that. But a lot of times people feel that they can do a better job doing it themselves when in fact they might actually be setting themselves up to grievously hamper their ability to have a, uh, an effective or successful defense in the case. When you have an attorney representing you, you have someone who understands all of the nuances of appearing in court, bringing appropriate motions at appropriate times, someone who can properly draft and file any written motions that need to be filed. And when you are representing yourself, you're going to be held to the same standards that apply with regard to all of these things, even though you won't have a lawyer to help you. And in fact, if you remain in custody, you're going to be in a situation where you have limited access to the materials uh, representing yourself. A self-represented litigant is uh, given what's, what are called pro per privileges at the county jail if you remain in custody. But those privileges don't give you all the tools that would be essential for you to succeed in doing this. Let me finish one other thing. Your decision at this early stage is also perhaps improvident because at this point you don't even know specifically, officially at least, what the charges are. And uh, if you don't know the charges, then of course you can't understand all of your possible defenses. You, you have in your mind firmly an idea of why you feel that you can better do this yourself. I suggest to you, sir, that that's probably not the case, at least at this stage of the proceedings. You can have the benefit of an attorney to get you through these initial stages. And I can't imagine why you would say no to that, given that you'll remain in custody. Go ahead, sir. There's been several attempts on, there's been several attempts on my life in jail, and I want to represent myself so I can have this case go as fast as possible. 
is if I get sent back to jail today, I'm going to get killed. And I have evidence that there's a hit on me and that the police are involved. And they've already tried to kill me. And you keep trying to make me get a lawyer that's going to delay things to send me back to jail so I'll get killed. And I don't, I don't appreciate that. And I don't think it's fair that, you're, you're, that, that, you're, that, that this is happening. There's evidence that they tried to kill me when they arrested me. I literally had to go to the hospital when they arrested me when I was fine. I don't want to go back in the police custody. I want to just do the trial now. I don't want an attorney. And if there's a hit out on me, and I have proof. It's on social media. And if I have an attorney, he's going to try to raise things to send me back on his prison bus, and they're going to kill me. And well, sir, you, you have to understand something. Your attorney isn't uh, the person that controls whether you stay in custody or not. Well, I understand that, but he can delay things and, and make me go back to jail so he can come up with more of a case. And they're going to kill me in transport. Well, all right, sir. Are you... Um, is your concern your safety at the jail, or is your concern the competence of your attorney? Both. It's both. Well, your attorney certainly doesn't have the control over whether you stay in custody or not. I understand that, but I, I don't know if he has my best interest in mind and my religious beliefs say, since I'm innocent, I should be able to represent myself and I have those constitutional rights and everybody's been fighting me for weeks about that. And I don't understand why you need to fight me over a constitutional right. Well. The jury will decide if I'm innocent or guilty. I say that I'm innocent I don't need an attorney. I think that we should just go through this right now and decide if I'm innocent or guilty without an attorney and let the jury decide. Isn't that the Constitution? Well, you're summarizing it pretty well, except that it doesn't happen on the timeline that you are requesting. Okay, well, if I get sent back to jail today, they're going to kill me. There have been several attempts on my life. I've been to the emergency room. And then I wasn't treated properly at the emergency room, so I had to leave early because they were trying to they, they were trying to kill me there. And I have evidence of it. Why would I need to go to the emergency room after an arrest? When I got arrested, they handcuffed me. They didn't read my Miranda rights. They threw me in a cop car with the heat on, with the windows up, and I was yelling, I can't breathe. And until I almost passed out and I was hyperventilating, and then they took me to the emergency room. The police have been trying to kill me. Well, and I don't appreciate how no one's believing me and how they just want to send me back to jail again. I, it, it's literally a systematic system where there's a hit out on me right now and there have been several attempts on my life. They tried to kill me in my jail cell. They didn't give me a mattress. They took my shoes away. They didn't give me toilet paper. Like th this, is, this is getting really, really, really ridiculous. And, and I don't really understand why you guys think that you can, you can treat somebody that way and just expect them not to tell anybody what's going on. I've had a guard come to me before in the middle of the night several times saying, if you go to sleep, I'm going to go in there and kill you. And he kept checking on me every five minutes. I've had other guards tell all the inmates to go kill me because I'm a traitor to the black people for killing my children and rile up all the inmates. And I know you guys want to send me back there because everybody wants to collect on their head. And it's on social media. And everybody knows about it. And the number one way that you kill somebody is through transport. And I think council is going to delay things to get me sent back to prison and or to the county jail, and I'm going to get killed. So I want the jury to decide now on the evidence that they have, and let's get things rolling, because the longer things go, the more there's going to be more attempts on my life. And I don't really understand why nobody believes me, unless they're in on me. Oh, all right. Counsel, you wish to be heard on your doubt? Oh, yeah. No, Your Honor, I, I'm not in a position to express doubt. Uh, just to clarify, one of the reasons we were put, asking to put the matter over so we could 